Hi, I'm Barry McGee. I'm a line supervisor at Clay Electric, and we're going to be discussing main breakers and how to shut them on and off. I like to call this a combination can. It has a meter and also your main breaker down below. As you see, the main breaker is in the on position. To shut it off, if you ever needed to turn power off inside the home, you would pull this down into the off position. You would also push it back up to turn it on, and it's clearly marked on and off. Um, if the breaker were to be tripped, sometimes you have to do what we call a reset. You have to bring the breaker all the way to the off position and then push it back up in the on position. This is a phone box and sometimes you will notice a cable TV box in the same vicinity. This is the kind of what we call the utility side of a house where you might have phone, cable TV, and your power coming in. We're at a different location to show you the similarities of this main breaker to the other one. This main breaker is, a, is separate from the meter can base, but also operates just the same. There's an off position and an on position. If you lose power or have no power and the main breaker is tripped, you would want to put it all the way to the off position and then come back on with it. And likewise, if you wanted to kill power to the main building, you would go straight to the off position. At this location, we have a combination of the breaker box and meter can mounted on a piece of wood, what we call a meter pedestal which the same similarities are here. You have a main breaker, you have an on and off position, and this is, this is where you would shut the main power off or reset the power. If this breaker were to be tripped off, you would need to push it all the way down into the off position, and you clearly read off, and then you would push it back into the on position. This is a meter pole we're looking at with a meter base and a main breaker down below. This is common for mobile home, pole, pole barns, and just different applications like that. But the same principle lies with this. You still have your main breaker. Same thing that goes on with all the other ones that we've talked about. And also, as you see here, here's another breaker that is fed below the main breaker, which subfeeds to an AC unit or a pole barn. And um, just to make a note, these are exterior main breakers that we've looked at. All your homes also have an interior main breaker, but this breaker on the outside of the home will disconnect power to the home. This is an inside panel that we're looking at. Most of the time you can find them in a garage, a utility room, or maybe even a closet in an older home. This is the same thing applies. You have a main breaker, and this is where you would shut the power off to the house inside. And if you do not have a main breaker on the outside of your home, this would be the only source would be inside the home to turn the main breaker off. As you see below, these are the other sub feeds. These are breakers, smaller breakers that feed washers, dryers, other rooms. And the same thing would apply also if one was to trip off, you would also take it, put it all the way off into the off position and then back on. And sometimes that may, um, um, help you out as far as bringing your power back on in a certain room or if you have certain outlets out. And it's very common to find the meter can mounted on the exterior of the home with no main breaker box. This is one application that you will find the main breaker box inside the home.